Food fights are not confined to any one country, they occur across the globe, often as part of festivals or celebrations. For instance, Spain is famous for La Tomatina, an annual event in Bunol, where participants throw tomatoes at each other. Similarly, Italy celebrates Ivrea Orange Festival with a traditional orange fight. These events, while organized and with a historical or cultural significance, capture the essence of why food fights appeal to the young and the young at heart, embracing spontaneity, joy, and community. The contrast between the playful, communal nature of food fights among young people and the serious, competitive disputes over food copyright violations among adults is stark and illuminates different aspects of human behavior and societal values. In simple terms, food fights among young people are all about fun, coming together, and enjoying the moment. They throw food at each other as a way to feel free and happy together. On the other hand, when adults argue over who created a certain food idea first, it shows how complicated things can get when it comes to creating new dishes, owning those ideas, and competing with others in the food world. Even though these two situations are very different in why they happen and what results from them, they both show how important food is to us. Food is not just something we eat to live, it's also a way we express ourselves, come up with new ideas, and sometimes disagree with each other. Hello my dear inventors and innovators. My name is Shubhi. In the heart of India, a story simmers that is as rich and complex as the flavors of its subject. I'm here to take you on a journey through time and taste to a dispute that has stirred the pot of culinary history. This is the tale of butter chicken, a dish that has transcended its humble beginnings to become a symbol of cultural pride and innovation. Our story begins in 1947, amidst the turmoil of partition. Two men, both named Kundan, fled the violence to find refuge in Delhi. Together, they opened a restaurant that would become a cornerstone of Indian gastronomy. But as their legacy grew, so did a controversy that would divide their descendants. Today, their families stand divided in a legal battle over the true creator of butter chicken. With a 2,752-page document filed in Delhi High Court, the stakes are more than just monetary, they're about the honor of being recognized as the inventor of a dish beloved worldwide. Imagine the dilemma faced by Mr. Bujral as he pondered over the fate of leftover tandoori chicken. His ingenious solution? A creamy tomato gravy that would transform these remnants into a culinary masterpiece. Meanwhile, Mr. Juggis family tells a tale of serendipity, where a late-night request led to the creation of a rival legend. As we step into the present, the legacy of butter chicken lives on into contrasting settings. Moti Mahal, with its deep roots in India's history, and Darya Ganj, the plush newcomer, each claim the title of authentic creator. But beyond the ambience and the claims, lies the heart of this story, the dish itself. For those who come seeking the taste of history, the question of who invented butter chicken may linger. Yet, as they savor each bite, it's clear that the true essence of this dish lies in its ability to bring people together, transcending the boundaries of time and place. 
As the sun sets over Delhi, we are reminded that this tale is more than a dispute over copyright. It's a celebration of innovation, tradition, and the universal language of food. The Battle of Butter Chicken is a testament to the enduring legacy of culinary creativity and cultural pride. And in the end, perhaps it's not about who created the dish, but how it continues to create memories for those who enjoy it. I'm sure that in your country there are food recipes which have existed for many generations which are beloved and cherished by all. In Africa, the giving of food is a gesture of love. Food has the power to bring us together. Consider for a moment all of the recipes and foods throughout the world which could be added and combined with those foods you know well. You may have a food idea which could make you and your family wealthy even though you may not now realize it. Are you willing to accept the challenge? Make money by inventing and innovating. Meanwhile, let's peer into the food scene is East Africa. In the vibrant heart of Nairobi, where the spirit of adventure meets the warmth of tradition, lived a young girl named Amoni. Known for her boundless curiosity and adventurous spirit, Amoni embarked on a culinary journey that would breach continents and cultures. Inspired by the rich flavors of her grandmother's traditional Kenyan dishes, Amoni's imagination was set ablaze by the vibrant cuisine of a distant land, Mexico. Watching a cooking show, she was captivated by the colorful and flavorful world of tacos, and an idea began to simmer. With a mischievous grin, Amoni ventured into her grandmother's kitchen, her hands dancing between the familiar and the foreign. She gathered Naya Machoma, Chipetti, and Cochambari, and wove them together with salsa verde, cilantro, and avocado. The result? Naya Machoma tacos, a daring fusion of Kenyan and Mexican flavors. The smoky aroma of grilled meat, the tangy zest of salsa verde, and the creamy richness of avocado created a symphony of flavors. Amani's family and friends were captivated by this innovative dish, which quickly became a beloved staple in her community. Amani's Naya Machoma tacos were more than just a meal, they were a testament to the power of culinary exploration. Her story spread, inspiring others to embark on their own adventures in flavor, proving that the kitchen is a playground without borders. Amani's journey from Nairobi to the world reminds us that food is a universal language, capable of connecting hearts and bridging cultures. Through her daring fusion of Kenyan and international cuisines, Amani showed us that creativity knows no limits, and in the blending of traditions, new flavors are born. Through her story, we are reminded of the endless possibilities that arise when we explore and blend the culinary traditions of different cultures. <laughs>